this where the everything started from the office um, to going to the next level. This is where it started. He made an Instagram post when he was like eight or nine years old. It was the NFL uh, draft, and he was and it says one day I will be here. Pat Sertan Jr. You know, I just had big dreams, I had a big vision, big aspirations, of course, just like how any other young kid would have. My path was clear. You know, I had my sights set to, uh, to make it on that big stage. I can remember his senior year, we had five home visits in one night. It was Alabama, LSU, Clemson, Florida State, and uh, I think it was Miami or something. You know, Clemson would put up with their coaches. Uh, LSU came with their whole coaching staff in my driveway. Neighbors were probably looking at my house like, what's going on here? They were waiting outside. Nick Saban to leave. Uh, Dabble Sweeney waiting to come in. Like, it was, it was crazy. I'll be furthering my education at the University of Alabama. <laughs> Oh, this picture's pretty dope. Uh, me and Kobe, when he came to visit Bama, you know, he came to spoke to the team, uh, learned a few things from him. Uh, it's a pretty dope uh, experience for me. You know, it, it's a culture around here, man. They they live and die football at an early age, and that's why Florida is considered, you know, the hotbed for for, for football talent. And Pat's uh, graduating class, man, like. 12 or 13 kids that, that he knows from this area actually made it to the NFL. So it, it's very competitive. Those guys play, play against each other at, at an early age and just to see all of them fulfill their lifelong dreams, man, is pretty special. Competing each and every day, day in and day out. So, you know, you know just never forget where you came from. <laughs> We in Plantation, Florida, well, uh, basically my hometown. Um, and this is where it all started at. This is my upbringing, this is where my roots started at. This is my bedroom. I'm sorry, right here, these two um, jerseys, these were my, when I played Little League, and I made uh, the All-Star Game. Um, Broward County is more for a lot of their area, 954305. So we be battling against the day squad. I think I won both of these years, matter of fact. You know, I got a couple pictures here too as well. This was a picture of me and my dad after the state championship game. Just embracing the moment, you know, father and son bond. Right here, this is one of my Optimus teams, uh, Miramar Panthers. Uh, this is where it all started for real. Um, back then, playing Optimus football, so, you know, had all types of fun back then. I'm pretty sure I was playing quarterback. As a parent, the, you know, you, your son has your name. You you hope that he will follow in the footsteps, but at the same time, you know, you, you don't want to push it up on him where, where he stopped liking the game. I say football, I loved it, but I also like basketball as well, too. Basketball and football, uh, those are the two sports that I grew up on as my fave. So, but at the end of the day, I think football is what I led to more. My dolphin days, I would just bring him on to the training camp and you know, he would run all over the field, he would be in the locker room. And uh, just, just some fine memories. Growing up with that NFL experience around me, um, it was pretty fun, but also it was a learning experience for me. Um, seeing all those dudes, those pro athletes, how they carry themselves, how they handle themselves, learning the game from them. Um, I just think it was an awesome experience all around. Little Pat Jr. <laughs> You know, this is when I started growing into myself. Right here was another picture of the state championship game. Um, this game actually was pretty close. This number was at the Army All-American game. You know, this was a pretty cool experience also as well too. Um, you know, it was great competing against top high school athletes. My sophomore year, that's when I started getting offers, um, big time offers, division one offers. So. Um, by then, that's when I realized, like, then I could take this thing to the next level. Before his junior year, I, I we sat down and I like, we have a five-year plan. Go finish these two years in high school, and after your third year in college, you're going to the NFL. And me and my dad we sit down and talk about the five-year plan. It was just something like that that led me to think, like, I, mean, I could really do this. You know, I could really change my life uh, forever. So. You know, I just was dedicated to the grind, had a strong work ethic. Um, 
you know, just overly focused on trying to achieve those big time goals. Back to back state titles, uh, won 31 straight games and finished number two in the country uh, his senior year. And we had, what, five or six guys drafted off that team. This medal was when we won the uh, state championship. Um, this was my freshman year. This was another state championship medal, my senior year. It's even more special to win senior year because you know you're going off, leaving high school with a bang. So another track, state championship. Yeah, a lot of track and football medals, as you can see. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of my new rides. Got it through the midst of the season. The blue interior was really going to set it off, especially with the color, um, with the little gray color on the outside wrap. Um, I just think the blue was very vibrant and it's going to set the car off. Yeah, I actually like being back home. Um, driving around, probably seeing some old friends. Um, yeah, just go out here, go outside, catch the vibe. It's always good to see the, the sun, the palm trees. Um, you know, it always feel good to be home, just to get that new home environment, you know, that fresh air. So spend a lot of time outside or enjoying family time that I don't get uh, throughout the season. So, um, yeah, stuff like that. What's going on, Bo? Hey, what's up, man? You good? For sure? I'm good. Yes, Come back to um, my old school, old high school. Um, talk to the people that I was here with. Uh, to the administration staff, to my old coaches. Um, it's always good to come back and show love, you know, just give thanks, so. Yeah, this is something to say championships ain't won. Um, you know, our school is um, all around, so it's not just football, state championships. You know, you got soccer, basketball, volleyball, lacrosse, whatever. Here's all the football state uh, titles right here. Yo, what's good, y'all boys? Good. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yep. You'll see these dudes in the NFL soon, a couple years from now. Uh, Mike Smith, um, my old strength and conditioning coach, new head coach of Heritage. They in the midst of the season. Started calling plays. That's how you do it here, though. Preparing the boys for the next level. Some shit. Yeah, this is a high school. <laughs> but during the summer and the spring, we be in here, especially the summer, we usually be in here grinding daily, getting ready for the season, before fall camp and stuff, before the season. So that's that was the grueling days. Through the heat, conditioning, then we come in here after, lift, all that. So. The work that we put in, all the state championships we won, that's what it brought up to here. Ooh. Got a new grace, a little metallic flake in there. By the way, this Travis Spiver, I don't been the equipment guy here ever since I was here, so making sure we fresh up on the field. It's great. Um, coming back here, seeing the next team up, um, you know, just coming back, showing my support, um, you know, just looking. You know, looking to see what's going on. Uh, you know, the school changed ever since I left. Um, they added some a few things to it, but you know, it's always good to come back. Got Alabama schedule, I, I believe, or do you have any official visit schedule? I have LSU and Alabama so far. LSU, on the, LSU on the 12th and Alabama on the 19th. We can talk about it with my parents and what school feel, fits best for me. You know, because it's a big decision for me. It, it was a big thing with with, the, with LSU and Bama because I'm from New Orleans. Obviously, Pat was born here. So people just assumed that that natural connection to New Orleans, that he would go to LSU. You know, I grew up an LSU fan, uh, obviously. Um, I had LSU ties. Um, a family member of mine, my cousin, um, Brandon, he played at LSU as well, too. So, you know, I grew up with LSU. I got Louisiana roots, so it was like, um, you know, it's a perfect place to be, but at the end of the day, it was my decision. Some, some tears and, and some, some real, really mental anguish, you know, going on because he was so torn. He was so torn. And, and I think his main thing, he didn't want to let anybody down. I, I, I had to let him know you're not letting anybody down. It's, it's, it's your decision, your decision only. And I just felt like Alabama was the best decision for me as far as, you know, allowing me to be the best version of myself, allowing me to mold myself to be the 
best player, but the best person I could be, you know, on and off the field. You know, it went down to the to, to the midnight oil and like one, two in the morning, he, he came in and said, I made my decision. I, I want to go to Alabama. And obviously, you know, the rest is history. You know, Alabama, they got top guys, five-star guys, four-star guys. Um, you're going to compete every day in practice against probably the best talent in America in college. So, you know, I just stayed level-headed, stayed my ground. And then when my name and opportunity was called, and, you know, I just ran away with it, you know. With Nick Saban, the process was eventually going to gonna win over. And he went in there and started 38 out of 41 games, started as a true freshman at Bama, which is hard to do. This one, I won the Rose Bowl defensive MVP of the game. This one, I won the Defense Achieve Achievement Award at uh, Alabama. This was our uh, SEC Freshman Team Award. Uh, this is one of the things that I'm, you know, proud of the most out of this was getting uh, academic honor roll. I'm still working on my degree though. So that's something I gotta get going. Yeah, so right here, this is Outstanding Defensive Performer Award at Bama 2020. All SEC First Team, SEC Defense Player of the Year my junior year, another huge honor. Um, you know, this was a award that I've been looking forward to getting. Um, I had three good years at Alabama, three good years of tape. Um, I just felt like I was ready. Transition to NFL um, was a great opportunity for me to, you know, reach that next level, reach that next um, stage where I know I have a point to prove, you know. Patrick. How you doing? This is George Payton, Denver Broncos. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Are you excited? Yes, sir. Good. I can't wait. Can't wait to get you here. If you're if you're half the player your dad was, we got a hell of a football player. Yes, sir. I, I was with your dad in Miami. I don't know if he knew that. Oh man, I, he told me stories. I mean, I'm so excited right now, man. I can't. Hey, all right, <laughs> we're fired up. You're the guy we wanted all along. And you can see when he got that phone call, you know, everything was peaches and cream. But when they got that phone call, it kind of hit him and hit all of us. Like, wow, you know, this is something that you dreamt of all your life. With the ninth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Pat Sertan, Jr., defensive back. Alabama. It was something that I dreamed of my whole life, uh, being in that moment. Uh, just being around with my family, uh, surrounded by a bunch of love, um, surrounded by a bunch of people that was with me through those ups and downs and that was with me through, through it all. So um, it was a special experience, a special moment, just to share that bond, share that moment. I knew he understood that, you know, this is only the beginning. No, don't let the draft process be, be your end all. I mean, it's a very stacked defense. Um, I can't wait to compete with those guys at a high level each and every day. Um, you know, I'm just very excited. Browning throws a pass right side, pass is picked off. This is going to be a house call. And welcome to the NFL, Patrick Sertan. I remember when we went to the preseason game in Minnesota when he got the pick six. And it was me and my wife up there. We just going nuts up there. And they looking at like us. We had a, the number two jerseys on. That must be their parents. Throwing toward the end zone, intercepted. Picked off in the end zone by Pat Sertan. I always say like, one of these games, I'm gonna get a pick and give it, you know, to my dad. So it was like, he gave me the tools. He gave me everything that I needed to succeed. And it was like, Here's what you have given me. Here's what I have to offer for you out of appreciation. You know, just that feeling, you know, it was just special. You know, I've been to all this game since high school, college and, and the pros. And, you know, I, I just love, you know, watching them out there. But, and I, I know I'm here with the Dolphins now, so I'm not going to be able to make, you know, most of this game, but we'll, we'll have a, a, a nice group going down there each and every Sunday. This is the game room slash lounge room. These are a few of my dad game balls right here. Matter of fact, against Denver. <laughs> against the Broncos. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's rookie year, yeah. Hopefully I'll get more than him though. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. He wants to be the very best at what he does. 
So his work ethic and and just getting better each and every year, that's never going to change. And and they say you make your biggest jump from your from your rookie year to your second year. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do this year. I just want to prove that, you know, all this hard work was, it wasn't for nothing. You know, I dedicated myself. Um, I put in the countless amount of work day in and day out, night in and night out to uh, get to this point. And, you know, I just want to be known as one of the best to ever do it when it's all said and done.